If you haven't had fried pickles, man, you're missing out. Stick around and I'll show you how. If you saw my southern fried chicken video, then you see that I use the same breading technique as I do for pickles. Plus, it all starts with buttermilk. Set a couple of tablespoons aside for later. Get out the seasonings and a zip top bag. The complete recipe is below, but for the dredge, I use two and a half cups of flour, kosher salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and smoked paprika. Then my secret ingredient is baking powder. It helps add crispiness to the breading. Mix all of this together with the flour in a gallon bag and label it. You can use what you need and save the rest for another use. To fry, you can use a heavy pan with about two inches of oil, but I use my deep fryer set to 375. Either way, set up a draining rig and some tongs. Just before you're ready to fry, spoon out the amount of dredge that you need into a plate or shallow pan. Now take the buttermilk that we set aside and drizzle some over the flour. Only use about a tablespoon or so, depending on how much flour. We don't want the flour to be wet. We're just going for some craggy bits in the dry dredge. Now, mix it up with your fingers. Yep, there's no other way. Rub your fingers together to mix in the buttermilk. This makes small craggy bits. At first, the bits will be larger, so keep rubbing to break them down. This may take three or four minutes. These craggy bits will stick to the chicken and make them really crispy when you fry them. I use this dredge on all kinds of fried food. Okay, here's what your dredge should look like when you're done. Now get out the buttermilk and the pickles. I like these kosher dills. Dry them off really well and then cut them in half. Put them in a bowl and then coat them lightly in buttermilk. Put them in the dredge and then press it in really well to get all those craggy bits. Move them to a plate and then preheat your oil to 375. Put a few in the oil at a time and cook them till they're golden brown, a couple of minutes probably. While they're cooking, you probably want to turn them over just so you get even browning on both sides. When they're done, pull them out, put them on a draining rack, and I wouldn't salt them again because they have a lot of salt in them already. Now just let them cool for a few minutes, put them in a plate, get some ranch dressing, and you're good to go. See you next time on Kimberly in the Kitchen.